All right, guys, let's cut our vegetables first. First off, I'm gonna mince my garlic, cut off the end. All right, my garlic is done being minced, so let's put this aside. And for the broccoli, we're just gonna take the crowns. We don't want the, we don't want this part right here because this could be very tough. So I'm just gonna cut around two inches up or one and a half inches. Okay, now we're gonna start getting our crowns right here. All right, let's go boil this and then for shrimp, I'm using around five to six, but you can use what you prefer. So let's add our broccoli in, Oop, right in here. Okay, our broccoli is in right now. Oh, forgot one. Then we want to set a timer for two minutes. All right, our pan is heated. Let's add in our shrimp. Just keep an eye out on everything. Put the shrimp when necessary. So, I'm using dark soy sauce. We're going to use around half a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Oh, okay. The next we're going to use oyster sauce. So the rule with this is that it never you can never really measure it. So just one glass. I'll say around a half a tablespoon. Okay, let me turn this down a little bit. All right, our broccoli is done. Okay, our shrimp is done too. Just remove that. Turn this low. Turn up the fan a little bit. All right. Next thing you want is um, what's it called? Sugar. We're gonna do we're gonna do around three quarter teaspoon of uh, sugar. I don't know how to measure this. One, around half. Dash of uh, sesame oil. And if you have chicken broth, that is optional too. Just add in some chicken broth if you have it. And it'll add an amazing taste. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. That was about maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Very easy. Okay, mix this. All right, I got my pan here, medium heat. What we're gonna do is add our garlic in, just like that. And since you can't really eat this, compost, okay? We need reduced waste, okay? I can't express how much goes into our um our land waste and like you could be really good fertilizer like grow new plants like hello we're in quarantine make yourself self-sustainable okay make yourself useful stop watching youtube and tv okay make use of your day okay turn this high we're just gonna do a tiny dash of chicken broth to deglaze the um the plant the the, not a plant, the pan. Yep, so around like that much. Just deglaze it. Ok, 
Okay, once it's deglazed, let's add our broccoli in. High heat, add our shrimp. Add our sauce. Oh yeah, stir frying, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna make the sauce. So you want one teaspoon of cornstarch right here, put it in here, and then we're just gonna mix it with a little bit of water, okay? It's a dash. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna pour some of that out. It's way too much. So you want around like, like this much, right? So turn your heat down to medium, just stir it, add it, and then let it cook and thicken. That is our thickener, thickening agent that will help make the sauce, okay? Okay, give us a couple of good stirs. Mmm. Yes, yeah, smells so good. Okay, turn it off. Fresh black pepper, right here, in. Oh yeah, smells amazing, okay. Um, Okay, now let's plate. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's plate this. Okay, so we're just gonna drop it in. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, look at this beautiful shrimp stir fry. Look how delicious this is. All right, let's go taste test. All right, here we go. Let's give this a taste test. Mm, the brown sauce, on point. This tastes better than the takeout one. Sauce is rich, flavorful. You can definitely taste the different elements of this dish. Very, very simple, easy, and no like, oh you need this, 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 this. This is like straight up recipe, okay? Like, this is soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil, water, corn starch. Like, how much sugar can this get? Like, hate those people that like write a blog and you're like, oh yeah, you need 10 ingredients. And I'm like, what the hell? You need 10 ingredients to make shrimp stir fry? I'm like, crazy. Like, very easy. Like, I came up with this recipe and my friend. Mm -hmm. And then we give this a 7 out of 10. You can use jumbo size shrimp. Oh. Maybe I'll make um, mayo shrimp next time. This is just so comforting and nice. Well, that is it guys for today. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more amazing recipes that are simple and easily made by a 15 year old. Bye.